This is actually so relaxing. If you're ever stressed, just heat up a towel. So nice. Hello guys, we are in the bathroom today and that can only mean one thing. It can mean a couple of things, but today it means that I am showing you my skincare routine. This is a very weird angle. Um, my sink is right here. I hope you can't see how much hair is in it because I shed like a dog. As you can probably tell, I'm in a very weird mood. There's just been a lot going on lately. I also hope this isn't very echoey, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. Just been a lot of stuff happening in my personal life and I just feel like I need a little reset. I need a little TLC. Um, and I always feel a lot better when I've taken time to pamper my skin. I feel like it's just like me time and I get to just take care of myself, take care of my skin. I've also got a whole bunch of new products that I've been using. My skincare routine has changed drastically and I always inform you guys of whenever my skincare changes. I always talk to you about all of my skincare finds and so it only felt right to sit here and have my arm in my sink and show you guys what I've been using on my face. So let's just get right into it. The cleanser I'm using my glow recipe. This is the papaya sorbet enzyme cleansing balm. This has just been one of my favorite things. I usually only use this to take off my makeup, but I just feel like using it this morning to cleanse my face. It just has the most buttery, soft texture and it smells divine just even scooping the product is so satisfying usually I use my glare recipe of blueberry bounce cleanser to cleanse my face but i don't know today i just knocked over my toothbrush today i just feel like using a cleansing balm i feel like it'll be more relaxing i just want the scent of the papaya to just take me away to a tropical island it's amazing for breaking down any makeup waterproof mascara anything like that not wearing anything, any makeup, but I'm just using this to remove any dirt and any bacteria and hopefully any stress in my life. You just get some water and as you can see, it kind of turns into a milky texture. It's so, so nice. I just love the experience of this. I love using my Bijou towels. These are just some facial towels I was sent like years ago and they're just so soft. I just pat my skin dry and these themselves actually remove makeup as well. I literally use these to remove cleansers, remove masks, remove stress. I'm using that joke way too much. All right, we are going to now exfoliate my skin. I'm gonna be using my Sand and Sky Australian Emu Apple Enzyme Polish. I usually like going for a chemical exfoliant, but when I want something a little bit more gentle, I will go for this. Literally just pour the powder into your hands, get a tiny bit of water, and then you just rub it together. It creates the most fine paste and just exfoliating all the dead skin I was gonna do the stress drink again exfoliating away with stress I find skincare to be such a calming ritual I don't know, it feels like therapy to me like after I've done all of my skincare I just feel so much more I just feel just so much more relaxed and I don't know, I'm already starting to feel better. I should tell you why I'm stressed. There's just a lot going on in my personal life right now. I also was up all of yesterday, all of last night, editing a vlog. It's a very, I guess, big week in my life. A lot of changes happened. Um, and I spent hours editing it and it was almost done. I just realized for personal reasons, I just can't post it yet, at least not for a another week or two. I can't post that yet and so I was like scrambling to think of a video idea and that is why today I'm just doing a chill skincare routine because honestly I just didn't really have a video to go up for today. Um, so yes. You guys will still see that vlog. I think it's still such an important vlog to me that I still want to upload it even if it is like a few weeks after 
it was actually filmed. I still think it's something that you guys might be interested in, but it's also something that I just want to live on my channel as like memories for myself. Um, but yeah, that just can't go up for a few weeks. And then there's also a vlog after that one that is kind of talking a little bit about what I'm doing right now with life. Can't upload that one until this one is uploaded, if that makes sense. So those two videos have now been pushed out and that just like ruined my next two weeks of content plans, if that makes sense. But I just thought, you know, I could still relay to you guys what's happening in my life um, and a few things here and there whilst also doing my skincare. So it's still a chill video, but hopefully you guys will still enjoy it. Anyway, I'm also filming some Instagram content. My phone is here on this um, weird device tripod thing I found on Amazon. So I'm also filming some sponsored content whilst filming this. We're multitasking here, so BRB. I've had on my beauty fridge on warm. I've got a warm towel here and I'm just going to... Oh my God, that's so nice. I'm just gonna press it all over my face. This literally makes me want to take a nap. Oh my god, it's so nice. Letting the pores open up. So I'm gonna use a skin device today and this is the branded work I'm doing. This part of the video was not sponsored. I'm doing branded work with them on Instagram. They actually sent this to me a couple of months ago and I've been testing it for a few months and I actually love this. Like I get so excited to use this. But this is the LeMay skin device and this is in the matte white shade. What it looks like, it has a bunch of different nozzles here. And this is just an at-home portable microdermabrasion device, which I think is amazing. Let me press this button. It just starts pulsing. And there's a lot of different speeds there to achieve whatever kind of desires you want, depending on what your skin can handle. Honestly, I love doing treatments like this. There's so many benefits to microdermabrasion. Each of the tips work to do different things for your skin. So this one is the best for exfoliation and removing tired and dull skin. And then the one that I had on it before, this one is really great for extracting blackheads and whiteheads. Because of the small nozzle, it's really great to go around the nose. And then they also have this one, which is an oval tip. And this one is the best for increasing blood circulation and inducing collagen production. So all really great things. I might actually use all three of these <laughs> I don't know and I really love putting that hot towel on beforehand just to open up the pores it's also very relaxing but it helps to open up the pores and just get the best effects from this device possible and I'm gonna put it on like the medium setting it's gonna pull my face just tug it across my face Already this side feels so much softer than this side. It's amazing. All right, I'm going on with the collagen production nozzle. And I'm gonna just put it on the first setting because it actually sucks pretty tight. I'm gonna go on with the smallest nozzle. I'm gonna go around my nose. Oh my god, my nose feels so soft. That is the best. I'm actually gonna go in right now with a face mask. I feel like this is the optimal time to do a face mask right after I've done the microdermabrasion. Um, and I'm gonna go on with two masks here. These are both from Sand and Sky. I'm gonna do a little mask cocktail. This is the Australian Pink Clay Pore Refining Face Mask. And put it on my nose. I'm mainly going to concentrate this on my T-zone. Alright, now we're going to go in with the Super Bounce Mask. This is one of my favorites. It's just honestly makes your skin feel like a baby's butt after using it. Like after the first time I used this, I was genuinely so shocked. Like I just didn't expect it to feel like that. It literally just looks like jelly. Like it's so cool. I'm just applying this basically everywhere else that I didn't apply the clay mask. This obviously had to be part of today's routine. I feel like a good pampering session is never complete without a face mask. Speaking of pampering, 
tomorrow when I'm uploading this video, it's Valentine's Day. Um, so happy Valentine's Day to all of you if you guys are watching this on the day I upload. Hope you guys had a great day. Hope you guys pampered yourself and treated yourself whether you're single or taken. I personally don't really have any plans for Valentine's Day. I never really celebrate it. Um, my boyfriend and I, our anniversary is two weeks before Valentine's Day, so we usually do something fun for that. And then Valentine's Day, like we just can't be bothered by the time it rolls around to Valentine's Day. Other than that though, um, restrictions are officially lifted in Perth. Um, we were in a five day lockdown last week, and then this week has been restrictions just to ease us back into like normal life. Um, and for the most part, it's been pretty normal, except we have to wear face masks whenever we go out. So my skin has just been stressing out from all of that like my chin around my nose has been so irritated and so dry hence why i need all of this pampering today um, but it's going to be so good to not have to wear masks anymore today we didn't have much planned we're just going to go grocery shopping and seth and i are actually moving house in a week or two and i am so excited this is the first time announcing it on this channel looking like this <laughs> i talked about it in the videos that i have now had to delay and i just didn't want to like tell you in like three weeks and i'd already moved in and all of that kind of stuff so i'm telling you now i want to go to the home open because it's in an apartment complex so they're selling they're still selling other apartments in there so we want to go to the home open just to see our home because <laughs> it's been so long that's our plan for today i will obviously be taking you guys along the moving journey um the decorating journey i'm so exciting for moving content it's one of my favorites to watch and i'm so excited to be moving it's gonna be so fun and so um i feel like this mask is kind of done now i feel like it's time to wash off the mask and we're using the bijou towel again i'm literally just going to wipe that off look how easily that all comes off Oh my gosh, I actually feel so much better after the mask. So calming and look how glowy made my skin. I cannot recommend these sun and sky masks enough. I so much, my skin feels so good. I already feel so much more uplifted from this. I've been using a new eye cream and I've only been using this for about a week, but I'm already in love with it and already want to repurchase this. So beautiful. This is the Sirene Aqua Restore Eye Essence. First of all, Look at the packaging, it is just absolutely a dream. And this is like the biggest eye cream I've ever seen. Like it looks like, I mainly just love the feeling of it. Like it literally is the most lightweight thing in the whole world. And it literally like, as I'm wiping it across my under eye area, it just feels so hydrating. It literally feels like water, like it absorbs so quickly it glides across so smoothly and i just feel like hydrated like nothing else i've ever used like it just feels so cooling as well like so refreshing the main like new addition skincare product i've been using is by software skin and i've been using this for about three weeks now um and my skin honestly went through a whole period of like adjusting to this product basically what this is is a customizable skincare product recommended to me i've got tretinoin niacinamide and hyaluronic acid and these are all at pharmacy grade percentages as well so you'll never find anything on the market which means they are really really strong and it does take a little adjustment period for your skin to get used to these ingredients it says to take no more than two pumps like that just rub it all over your skin right now i'm using this every second night and so far my skin hasn't been reacting as much to it as it did like last week guys are i of course have been loving my fenty skin this is my second bottle of this i'm obsessed i've also seen their eye cream that they just came out with literally yesterday and oh my god, I am dying to get it. This is just such a beautiful moisturizer. I find that, that my skin doesn't react too badly to the fragrance. Um, like, look at that glow. That's insane. I'm going to go in with a face oil, and I love the Kiehl's one. It's just one of my favorite face oils. Cannabis sativa seed oil, and I find it to be really calming on my skin, especially if I'm having any irritation or redness. I'll always go on with this, and my skin is so calm the next morning. If you drops of that. I like just patting it into my skin. 
It's also just like a really lightweight kind of oil. So I'm going to use my little face roller from Beauty Fridge and just roll my skin. I just love doing this stuff. I feel like when I'm rolling my face, it's just like really my time to just like concentrate on me. I'm rolling out all the bad energy and all of the stress. It's like the most extra skincare routine and I love it. I really want to do a video talking about all of my favorite skincare devices so I mean I'm pretty much showing you my top two but if you guys would like to know about all of my other skincare devices that I use let me know let me know in the comments because I would love to do that I'd also love to know what skincare devices you have tried what you love my Mecca Cosmetica to save face sunscreen always apply that every day spray my face this is the Herpera's Herbal face tonic. I'm almost out of this. I'm really sad about it. I'm already feeling a lot more positive about this year and the changes that are coming. Um, I'm excited to show you guys where we will be living soon um, and take you along the moving process. And yeah, there's a lot of exciting things coming, so get ready, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'm gonna finish up this skincare routine now because it has been like an hour and I need to get on with my day. And I'm finishing off as always with my Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask, my absolute favorite of all time. I use this every single day. It is amazing. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed sitting here with me at my sink and doing my ultimate pampa skincare, cheering myself up, de-stressing skincare routine. Um, I feel so glowy and I feel so good. Like I feel at least 400% better than I did <laughs> when I first started this video. My mood has definitely lifted so much after doing all of that. I feel like it's just so nice to take care of yourself. Um, and I need to remember to do that a lot more this year. And I hope you guys have a really great Valentine's Day as well. Have a great Sunday. And I'll see you guys next Sunday for a brand new video. Bye.